September 25th, 2020, writing. The following slides will contain a writing prompt with two possible explanations. After reading the explanations, you must respond on the final slide and tell which way is correct and why. So here's the prompt. Thomas had to solve for the difference between 18 and 6 tenths and 2 and 1 tenth. So we have way 1 and way 2. So first, let's solve what Thomas had to do and then check which way would be correct to explain it. So first, we need to figure out what does that word difference mean? Difference. Oh, difference means subtract because I know sum means um, adding, but this is difference, so it's going to be subtracting. So I just kind of dragged that out there. So Thomas had to solve for the difference between um, 18 and 6 tenths and 2 and 1 tenth. Now, how are we going to solve this subtraction problem when we have decimals? Well, what do we need to do with the decimals? Line them up. Line them up. So we are going to have 18. Do, do, do. 18 and 6 tenths. So put that decimal there. And we have that 6. Um, and then we are going to subtract. I'm going to move this down here. So minus, because we're finding the difference. So we're going to subtract. I'll put it up a little bit. Um, 2 and 1 tenth. We need to line that decimal up. Do not forget to line that up. So 2 and 1 tenth. 2 is in that 1's place. So also the 8, the eight is in that 1's place. And then we have 1 tenth. And up top we have 6 tenths. Um, oop, I need to draw a line. I apologize. Um, so what we're going to do now is solve this. Now, when we solve this, we are going to say, okay, we're going to go from which way? Well, we're going to start over here on the right with the tenths place. Six minus one is what? Oh, I know that's five. Six minus one is five. I'm going to put that five down there. What do I do with that decimal? Oh yeah. Drop it down, drop it down, down low. That's your new song you guys have been telling me in class. Um, so drop that decimal down or drop it like it's hot. Now, 8 minus 2. Ah, 8, 7, 6. Ah, 6. Doo, doo, doo. And then we have 1 minus 0, which is going to be 1. So our answer is going to be 16 and 5 tenths. Well, let's take a look at way one and way two. So first of all, let's take a look at way one. So way one says, first line up the digits and the decimal points vertically by their places with the larger decimal number on top. Yep, the larger decimal number on top and we lined them up. So I'm gonna put that in green so that we know we got that right. We know that our part is correct. So let's take a look at way two and see what way two says. First, line up the digits and decimal points vertically by their places with the larger decimal number on top. Yes, indeed. So, oop. yes, indeed, that is also correct. Ooh, my bad. I'm moving things around here. There we go. That is also correct. So I'm going to put that in green as well. All right, now we're, let's look back at way one. So this says where the tenths digit of two, okay, the tenth. Digit of 2 is under the 6 in 18 and 6 tenths. Well, this 2 is in the 1's place, not the tenths place. So that's not quite right. So I'm going to put that in red because that 2 isn't even in the tenths place. And that 2 isn't even under a 6. Um, and then the 1's digit of 1 is under the 6 in 18. And, well, the 1 is under the 6, but it's not the 1's digit. Right? It's not a ones digit, it's a tenths. It's a tenths digit. So that's not quite right either. So it seems to be that um, Thomas, or the first way would think that Thomas was switching, it would be one and two tenths. That's kind of how it seems to be lining up. But let's see. Then drop your decimal point straight down in your answer place. Yes, we did. We dropped it like it's hot. And begin at the ones place, subtracting the digits from right to left, regrouping as needed. Yes, indeed. So that part is correct. But Thomas, the first way for Thomas would say the answer is 17 and 4 tenths. We didn't get 17 and 4 tenths. We got 
17 or 16 and 5 tenths. So that's not correct either. So there are some good parts of way one, but it is not fully correct. Let's check to make sure and see if way two is correct. So the tenth digit of one, okay, yes, there we go, is under that six in 18 and six tenths, yes. And the ones digit of two, yes, that's in the ones, is under the eight in 18 and six tenths, yes it is, yes, yes, yes. So there we go, that way it has them lined up correctly. I'm gonna put that in green. Um, then drop your decimal point straight down in your answer place. Yes, we did that. We dropped it down and begin in the tenths place, subtracting the digits from right to left, regrouping as needed. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to put that green as well. Now let's make sure um, way two has the answer correct. So the answer is 16 and 5 tenths. Did we get 16 and 5 tenths? Yes, we did. Yay. So I'm going to put that green. So when we go now to the next slide, there are two questions, or there's two ways, I should say, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to drag the circle over the way of the correct explanation of how Thomas should solve his problem. So when we go back to the slide, he should solve the problem like exactly how way two is describing. So we're going to put the circle over way two. Now on the right side, in the provided workspace below, so right here, use the steps that we've chosen to show how Thomas solved his problem. So in here, you are going to type on your own a detailed explanation of how you've chosen to, how the steps that you've chosen or that we've chosen to show how Thomas solved his problem. So maybe how did you do it? How did you um, subtract? What did you have to do first? What did you do next? So things like that you will put in that text box there.